morning everybody or good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in the world now uh, today i'm going to be doing a um, video on how to hoop or float a towel okay it's all simple stuff it's going to be simple stuff uh, i'm going to take you through the basics and if you watch the following videos you might find some of those useful too so today we're going to show you how to hoop a towel it's so easy very simple and it's on a single needle flatbed machine right so without further ado i'm going to get on with the job at hand see you in a minute so first of all for a towel you're going to want some tear away stabiliser you're also going to want some water soluble now i haven't got any water soluble at the moment but it's like a plasticky film and that's what you're going to use to lay down on your towel to stitch out your design that will stop the stitches from sinking into the fabric but first of all, we're going to get some tearaway stabiliser. Now, we're going to use tearaway because then you're not going to have it showing on the back of the towel. So, you should never cut your stabiliser with your good scissors. But, it's very naughty of me. So, pop some stabiliser in your hoop, first of all. Now, the only hoop size I have with my machine at the moment is this 7.9 by 7.9 hoop, all right? And that is why I'm using this. Now, you can, if you're doing um, smaller designs, you do not need so much stabilizer, and obviously you can use a smaller hoop, therefore you're gonna save on so much stabilizer. But, I am gonna be doing it all on here. There we have some stabilizer. Now, depending on which way you want your design, okay, now my, this, my machine, this will go on my machine like this, okay, with this piece, this side, on the right hand side. So, um, my towel, I'm going to be laying, what you want to do is, let's pop that to one side. So here's just a standard hand towel, alright, you can use, this, this, the concept's the same with a large towel. Now, my design, I've got my label up here. So my design, let's say I want to go, say when you're doing a towel, when you fold them, you usually go like this and like that. And then it goes over the rail like that, doesn't it? So my design, basically, I want to be here, which is probably my centre. So if I, which it is, so if I fold my towel in half lengthways okay all right now my design <coughs> is going to go down here all right what you can do is you can finger press or hand press or heat press your towel in half so you can get your halfway mark all right then on your hoop you have also got these little notches here. So you've got one there and one at the top, all right? You've also got one at the sides as well. But we want to line up the center of this towel. So we do it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it inside out so that the label is on the outside there, all right? So label's on the outside. And I'm going to do it so that, bring it over to the halfway mark. Now I want my design to go about here. So I'm going to bring this down. You can use these things here, all right, which gives you like a halfway mark. So you can measure, you can see uh, basically where your design is going to go, provided you've got it centered to your hoop. So that's about right for me so I want my design to go here all right so there's my halfway mark so I'm going to line the towel the halfway the towel up with that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over like that okay and I'm going to pin it in place now what you can do is you can use you can use some temporary spray adhesive now we could do that. Let's try that first, shall we? 
So we'll turn the towel back round, okay? And what we can do is just spray our hoop with spray that side. Hold that down, then spray some that side and hold that down. And it's not going to be perfect, all right? It's not going to be hold. It's not going to hold it in place perfectly necessarily, depending on how much weight you've got, how big your towel is. So you can either choose if you feel safe enough, which that is not going to really go anywhere once it's on your machine, all right? Um, the heavier the towel though, you might need to pin maybe in place, but always make sure it's around the outer edge of your hoop so that the design is not going to be stitched. You don't want your needle hitting any of these pins. So now we're going to pop this onto the machine and I'll show you how it works. Being careful not to move anything. So I come in this way, hold my thing up, there we go, and then bring that around the back. Okay. Make sure none of your towel is underneath. And then we're going to clip it into place up here. So there, right. So that there can just come over the top there. That's not going to do any harm there. And there is where our design's going to be stitched. So it's as easy as that. Now, water soluble will go underneath here okay if you're doing an applique then put the water soluble on after all your applique has been put in and then just before the satin stitch goes around okay and that will help hold that in place and it will stop the stitches from sinking into your towel so that's it as easy as that how to hoop a towel so simple that is going to stay there that's not going to go anywhere. There we go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and join me in the next one.